Don't you hate it when you find your passion that you love, but then someone comes up to you and you're like, oh, it's not hyping. Watch that didn't hurt. So I love marketing and not only does marketing offer you a whole array of opportunities, you also get access to a whole array of high paying opportunities as well. If you're willing to put your work and your dedication to get to the more senior positions. Today I hope that this video kind of helps to give you information that will allow you to make a more informed decision rather than listening to what people say. So with that being said, please do like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell because because next week I'll be sharing with you 10 truths about being a marketing major. And also you can also watch my previous video which is the top 10 reasons why I absolutely love marketing. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out, yeah, bust me down. Hey what is up you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and it's Sherry here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 highest paying marketing jobs and this video is going to be packed with so much information that I hope is helpful for all you marketing majors out there because marketing is a space that's so diverse with so many incredible, incredible opportunities out there. Like if you're interested in data, there's a job for you. If you're interested in creating designs and videos, there's a job for you out there. If you're interested in strategy and business thinking, there's also a role for you. So there's so many incredible opportunities within marketing and I think one of the least things talked about within the marketing sphere is, you know, whether there are high paying jobs. And I did a lot of research on this topic recently for this video obviously and I realized that you know this can actually be a very inspiring video for people who are genuinely passionate in marketing but random people came up to them and told them that marketing is useless you won't make money in marketing blah 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 so I really hope that this video will definitely inspire you to go towards your passion if marketing is something that you're already passionate about and I also do want to add that according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics employment for advertising promotions and marketing managers is expected to grow by at least 10% between 2016 to 2026, which is faster than the average for other professions. So definitely marketing is always expanding, there's always the demand for marketing, especially you know now that everything is going online, there's a higher demand for digital marketing areas. So if any of these interest you, I am very very happy to say that this video is the perfect video for you to watch right now. And although this video is talking a little bit about money, I also want to stress and emphasize that it's so much more important to find a career that is, you know, right for you in the long term, that fits your lifestyle, that fits your values, your mission and your purpose, and your definition of success, rather than finding a degree that just pays the highest, and that way you can be so much happier, you'll be able to make an impact in the space that you want to make an impact in, and you'll be generally, I would say, more confident with your career choice because you are committing to your job for a long term. So I really hope this video gives you a bigger idea of the options that you have in marketing. Of course, a lot of these roles are obviously at the director level or like the CMO level because it is the top 10 highest paying roles in marketing. But I feel like it's something that we can definitely aspire towards maybe and I really hope that this video has enough information and research for you to inspire you to go into marketing if finance concerns were one of your reasons why you didn't want to do marketing. Um, and I also hope that it will help to debunk any questions that you might have in your brain. And within every single role, I'll be sharing with you the average salary and the salary range for roles like that based on my Google research and also from Glassdoor statistics. And also, if there are any other roles that I might have missed out, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll be adding a little bit of details about what each job entails and also some of the skills that you might need to be in this job so that you might know whether it's a good fit for you. I'll also be going from like the least paying job to the highest paying job in general. Of course, this is just a very, very general video. But yeah, I really hope that this video is informative. And with that being said, let's go straight into the contents of this video. Okay, in 10th place, we have the Content Marketing Director, which has a salary range from $56,000 to $139,000 per year, which can be an average of $95,000 per year. As the name suggests, it's really responsible for all things relating to content. It can be blog content in terms of articles, resources, white papers on your blog. It can also be related to videos that you might put up and also other pictures that might be on your company website. And in general, you'll be in charge of content strategy of content development and also hiring the right people to write the content and also having a high overseeing of the content's performance and scheduling the content and ensuring that the content gets enough reach and an audience that can digest the content. So I would say that a lot of things that a content director may need to do would be you know, to understand the SEO of every single content piece because ultimately you're creating content and investing in content so that it can actually draw more you know, top of the funnel or middle of the funnel audiences into your website and also if your copywriting is good, it can actually ultimately help with conversions because if the copywriting on a blog post is good, it can actually allow people who are you know, deciding between multiple options to really convert into one of your customers. 
So in ninth place, we have the director of digital marketing with an average salary of $99,000 and a salary range from 60 to 148k. And you need about 10 years to rise up to this position. And the reason why is because the director of digital marketing is in charge of so many different components within digital marketing. For instance, you need to be knowledgeable at least in you know SEO, in paid advertisement and performance marketing, in campaign optimization, in generally web traffic and web performance. You also need to be pretty good at I would say you know business copywriting. And also you need to be able to manage an entire team to put all of this together. And I would say on a day-to-day basis you probably need to talk to the social media team make sure they're doing their stuff you need to make sure that you're talking to the SEO team so that more people come to the website and you also need to talk to your perhaps your freelance copywriters and make sure that you know they are really putting awesome content for you you also need to make sure that your ads are doing well so that you can really generate a lot of traffic and convert them into sales and etc and etc and I would say that this is actually very important for roles especially in e-commerce kind of industries or FMCG kind of industries that want to have an online presence. So generally this role has a lot of skill sets involved which is why it's so high paying. So in 8th place we actually have the marketing research director and for this one the average salary is 112k with a salary range of 75k to around 160k. So for the marketing research director it's so important for you to really find out your target audience to KYC or know your clientele because it's so important for you to really understand the ideal kinds of customers that you're targeting. This means using a lot of quantitative data and big data from reports and also qualitative interviews to truly understand what people are thinking so that you can relate to them better. So for instance, they probably need to do a lot of different kinds of surveys, they need to oversee a lot of different focus groups, ensure that you know enough research is being conducted to understand um, the customer and be updated with them. And this role is actually very important because after you understand your customer, that's where you can really have the power to really draft you know, the best marketing policies, the best marketing strategy, and the best marketing tactics that may actually appeal to the customer range. In seventh place, you have the demand generation director. And you can imagine how difficult it is to generate demand. And specifically for B2B companies, it's very important for you to really develop that entire pipeline so that the customer feels comfortable in you know, getting to know you, having your first few touch points, and ultimately liking your brand and converting in the future, hopefully. So demand generation can actually have an average salary of 133k with a salary range of 59k to 150k. So demand generation, you can imagine how difficult it is and how important the role is. For B2C roles, it's really geared towards individual people understanding you know, what they want and trying to find solutions that really fit the people. And also for B2B, it's really a lot more about that one-to-one -one touch point and ensuring that you know, if you have an email marketing pipeline that they have a very, very awesome first few touch points, they ultimately start to like your brand and they ultimately actually like you and want to convert with you and become your own customer in the long term. And generally for these kind of roles, it's very important for you to really understand how to stay relevant. So for instance, they may need to work with different KOLs, thought leaders in the industry to you know, keep that demand generated. They may also need to actually work with different kinds of campaign leaders to ensure that the demand is you know, still there. Or they may even need to work with the ads team, either you know, Facebook ads or even LinkedIn ads, etc. To make sure that the customer keeps on re remembering you and also um, to generate that demand. So next up we have number 6 which is the brand director level or the brand marketing director level. So for this one, the average salary is 113,000 with a salary range of 60,000 to 150,000. So a company's brand director is essentially almost like a brand guardian but managing many many different brands. And in very you know marketing driven companies like FMCG companies, um, the company's P&L is ultimately dependent on how brands do. So you can imagine how important this role is because you want all your brands to be generating as much profit as possible at the lowest cost. Something that the brand directors do is that they have to oversee each brand's strategy and evaluate how much people like the brand and increase their net promoter scores and increase the brand equity etc. And this can be something that is actually very very heavily data driven especially because if there are many many people buying all your different brands, um, essentially you need to really understand the data that's happening and see why your know, sales might be dropping or why sales increase and also you need to be really really good at talking to all your different brand managers and ensuring that they are doing their stuff and ensuring that they are able to you know keep up with the demands of um, the market today. So something related to brand I would say would be brand strategy and one of the parts of that is really ensuring that the brand guidelines are met and ensuring that it really fits into the image of what customers want to see and that is consistent and, and the message is being communicated very very clearly consistently. Another part of being a brand director would be to manage and set all the different budgets for different you know brand advertising teams. Also to oversee the social media that's happening from all the different brands and ensuring that everything's okay and ensuring that the mother brand is being protected. 
I think another thing that a brand director definitely needs to do is to really be able to analyze and forecast different needs of sales um, and also just to anticipate anything that's needed, especially in a very, very competitive market today. In fifth position, we have the director of marketing analytics. The average salary is 130k a year or you know a range of 70k to 200k. So directors of marketing analytics are definitely very in charge of the marketing analytics that you get and essentially just having a very strong understanding of the data that's happening. They may have to be in charge of overseeing all the dashboards being built correctly and ensuring that all the data is important and refreshed and also easy to visualize and understand from other people in the company and ideally they are able to generate a lot of data insights from their team. I would say that the director of marketing analytics is actually very very important in you know suggesting ideas or solutions or even recommendations um, to the different directors in marketing because you know all those people can actually act on these insights found from the marketing analytics team. Of course I think the director of marketing analytics would really be focusing on you know getting the data presented properly and letting the other you know brand directors or you know marketing managers to uh, act on it appropriately. In fourth place we have the creative director with an average salary of 143k with a range of 85k to 201k. So creative directors essentially ensure the creative juices flowing all across the marketing team to the advertising team to the branding team and essentially they are really in charge of the visual elements of the brand or of the products that are being sold. So creative directors are really in charge of setting a very cohesive look for the entire brand, all the products and you know guidelines for employees to follow and they must also be able to set that creative vision that's aligned with the company's vision in the long term such that all ads follow this you know creative element or all these different guidelines that you know suit the vision ultimately and so that the message is being communicated clearly and after all these goals are set and guidelines are set it's very important for the creative director to oversee and also find you know contractors or agencies or other kinds of freelancers that are able to produce work that's aligned with all these guidelines that they've set up. So for creative directors it's very important to not just have that artistic ability but also have that people management ability. Okay, in third place we have the product marketing director. So their average salary is 145,000 with a range of 66,000 to $225,000. I also do want to stress that product marketing is different from product director. So product marketing director is slightly, you know, has more of the mix of the marketing side compared to the product director which is a lot more on the product. So for product marketing, I think something that is very very important especially in today's tech world is you know to be able to really understand the product or solution from the company and be able to market it and have a very strong go-to-market strategy especially when a lot of these products are very complex or you know difficult to understand at first so it's very very important for companies to have this and to package it in a way that's very very clear with case studies with use cases with testimonials and etc so essentially because products have so many different kinds of capabilities and a lot of different variations and functions, basically product marketing managers need to really identify you know, some key areas and be able to communicate that part of the product in a very very clear and systematic and you know, concise way such that people can understand it instantly in a few seconds. And this involves a lot of go-to-market strategies, it also involves a lot of working with other people so that they can actually make that element come to life. So for instance, working with you know the product team also working with the creative team also working with the marketing team and the engineering team and everyone to make sure that this specific product or this feature of a product is being marketed very clearly to people. a lot of the time product marketing is not just about marketing the product it's also about getting people to be excited about this new product launch and creating the excitement is something that's very very difficult in today's world especially. and it's so important to be able to communicate all of that clearly especially in a space that has so much competition and product marketing is very very important especially in tech companies where a lot of these things are very complex and hard to understand at first especially for laymen this one the average salary is 170k with a range of 134k to 201k and this is definitely very very high level and this is typically found in only very very large corporations where they have a global global wide reach of different you know markets and definitely have the budget to really have this global marketing uh, you know director so the reason why this is actually a very important role is because you so this is actually typically found in companies that are really really big with a wide global reach and the global marketing director needs to be really well attuned with you know the different needs in different countries and be able to really know the customers in all these different countries so that they can actually have you know marketing strategies and plans to cater to each of the countries in a very very localized way 
um, and usually for this kind of role the person needs to be able to travel the person needs to be able to communicate their vision with, with like a lot of different people from a lot of different cultures and generally you'll be responsible of handling the marketing and promotion of your goods and services all across the world so it's very important because a lot of the marketing managers and leaders and even other directors may be reporting to you so it's very important that you know which country is doing well or which country is not doing well you also need to be very very um, kept tidy abreast of like all global issues because you never know when one market is going to tank and you also need to have a good idea of what countries to focus on you may also need to you know develop materials and conduct market research with you know countries globally so very very exciting and also a very large and extensive role literally and number one we have the CMO which is the chief marketing officer of course not anyone can just randomly become CMO. It takes years and years of experience and recognition to rise up to that level. This one, the average salary is $218,000 with a range of like $4,000 to $342,000. <clears> so the CMO role is actually a role that is very, very high level because it's really understanding how marketing has a direct link to a business's entire strategy and also financial objective. And the CMO over here is in charge of overseeing everything related to marketing be it internationally or within the entire company and ensuring that the marketing teams are you know really really pushing out the product and service in a way that's also aligned with the brand aligned with the budget of the company and aligned with the long-term vision of the company and something that the CMO definitely has to do is to be able to work well with a lot of other people because a lot of different managers and directors will be reporting to the CMO and the CMO has to also be able to work very well with the C-suite of course because you're working with them every day and the second part that's very important for CMOs to really understand, you know, profit and loss statements, to understand all the numbers um, relating to the business and also understanding the budget very, very clearly and understanding, you know, the return on, you know, different kinds of areas in marketing and understanding the brand equity and everything related to marketing has to be understood by the CMO. And the reason why I say this is because um, a lot of the times, CMOs are really in charge of really promoting and scaling a company and it has to have positive financial benefit and I think a large part of that has to come down with a lot of responsibility to the numbers. If anything, this video is more of a way for you to get inspired. Not necessarily will we all be, you know, pinned at the top paying jobs for marketing of course it's really really very difficult and takes years to get there so my respect to anyone who is i really hope that this video doesn't stress you out or anything it really inspires you to you know pursue all these different areas and to keep going with what you're passionate about again i really believe that my dream job isn't necessarily tied to money but it's really tied to its alignment with my lifestyle my values my purpose my mission and also my definition of success so i really hope that this video has helped you if you enjoyed it please do like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell because next week I'll be sharing with you a video about the top 10 truths about being a marketing major and I really hope that you enjoy that video as well. So see you in the next one. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out, yeah. Bust me down a whip, bitch, I don't do this for no clout, hey. I got so much back, I think I'm